Do you want me to light it for you oh. so you can have smoke? Yeah. Hi, I'm Margot Ligurgo. <laughs> <laughs> Hello God, are you there? It's me, Margaret. Hi, I'm Margaret Legogo and um, you might know me as Margaret. And today, um, it's been a little while but we're going to do another episode of Paint Me Belly Babe. And this time we have the beautiful, the incomparable Mara Maraschino. But you might notice that Mara is the one who has no makeup on because I'm actually going to paint her. Make me beautiful, Mom. <laughs> I'll try. So, should we get makeup? Yes. So, first things first. You're the realist. Drop this and let the whole world feel it. <laughs> Would you like a bad bitch like me? It's quite confronting, but I like it when my gorgeous nails cover my face. That's, my, that's nice. This is good, isn't it? That's nice. Like this. So, we'll start with your eyebrows. Fabulous. Okay. So this look we're doing, it's the standard and iconic Margot 60s glitter eye. Is that what's happening? I'm gonna have like a cut crease, black, gloss of black with um, holographic glitter go go. I'm gonna try and cover up your eyebrow hairs with concealer. Oh god. <laughs> Madeline Glass Eater just got like tickles. So tell us about this eye. How did you how did you make it happen? Um, well, it's kind of like you take a '60s graphic eyeliner and then kind of make it a bit sexier and draggier. So I smashed my white eyeshadow backstage. Oh no, I was there for that. I know, it was so long ago and I keep forgetting to buy oh a God. new one. So we're just gonna use the Nanny Panic Virgin Pressed White Powder. Wonderful. Who, was, who is your makeup idols? Who are you trying to emulate? Well, I tried to keep. Right, hence the graphic eye. I see it. I really like um, <laughs> 60s makeup. I really like drag makeup. I can already see myself beginning to look like you a little bit. It's the brow. We really do makeup really differently. We do. I think you're good at it. <laughs> you have never done any courses or anything. It's just all self-taught. Is that correct? It's YouTube. YouTube. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Oh, what's happening now? So this? We're going to start drawing the crease with just a little bit of black eyeshadow. Oh my god. Relax your face. <laughs> There's just too much Botox. Keep them open. Oh. Yeah, no, I, I like that. Fabulous. That's good shape. I've known you for most of the time you've been doing burlesque, but I missed out on the first, I guess, year of you doing it, and mm -hmm. I wasn't there for the, the start. What, what made you do it? What um, brought you in? I went to a... Wonderland Festival at the Powerhouse. Oh, Vanguard? Yeah. And then Vanguard is responsible for bringing a few people in, actually. For sure. And who did you see? Who was on the bill there? Do you um, remember? I do. So, Betty Lovecat. Oh, of course. Uh, Lenore Noir. Mm-hmm. Um, Dolly Cakes. Oh, well, come on. What else is going to bring you into burlesque? Alyssa Kitt. Well, there you go. And Jacqueline Fury. Well, fuck me. Well, that's great. And then you just, like, what happens? Then what? So then I decided I wanted to do burlesque, so I googled burlesque. burlesque. <laughs> um, and I found Bombshell's Burlesque Academy. Alright, I'm going to put even more concealer on now. Thank you. <laughs> you debuted as I started. And I was like, this, who is this Betty Page with perfect textbook curls, in tap pants, it's a perfect 1959 boudoir scene, yet she's dancing to goddamn glitter rock from the late 70s. 
And you know what? I could just say that at your eulogy. <laughs> like, couldn't I? You could figure out okay. the rest. But once you have the um the concealer highlighting here, mm. it really just You're really just going up like there, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. Um Well, the ask I'm developing at the moment is a tribute <clears throat> to Satan's angel, so mm -hmm. I mean, the makeup's going to be more of a natural 60s. I was just going to say, her eyes are 60s eyes, but yeah. they're not like this, are they? No, they're, they're not like beauty. Graphic. They're beauty. Yeah, it's like, yeah, much more that, yeah. Really, really heavy strip lashes. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's like a loud mouth. A loud mouth, hot bitch, with a nice can, great tits. Fabulous hair and a bad attitude. Please welcome to the stage, Margot Legogo. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna have a cigarette. Yeah, great. And, then, and all the girlies say I'm pretty, pretty fly for, for a white girl. A white lid. So I think we need to address the elephant in the room here. What's that? I can talk now, right? You can talk. Okay. I think we need to talk about glitter a go go and how it started because I actually don't really even know that story. Oh, well, it's, a, it's a tale as old as time. When I was creating my uh, one-eyed cat act, I was looking for makeup. Um, I found um, a few different things. I got uh, pigments and I got glitters and I discovered biodegradable glitter and I bought a few different colors. And then once I got them all, I'm like, I love this so much, I have to I, I want to sell this. Yeah. So that's how it started. I was just looking for makeup for myself and I discovered it. And once I got like the whole selection of everything that then was available. Then you made mixes in your own colors, etc. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm ready for glitter. Glitter. Because this way, if we do this eye in its entirety, we've figured out exactly what we're doing and all the kinks and all the, the things we need to take into account. And then this eye will take half the time. Oh my God. So we are doing glitter. classic glitter lit with Lux, Lux, which is holographic silver, silver. chunky holographic silver. So um, got it here. I don't know. It's still not focusing. Focus on this, <laughs> not on me. Don't focus on me. Focus on that. Oh, I think we got oh, it. Oh, we got it. Let me do this. This is the brush we're going to use. These are some brushes that are in development with Glitter A Go Go. They're oh, is it really? Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take the ultimate glitter glue for our eyes. Okay. And um, it's got this tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny little brush tip. And that is going to give us like a nice, precise line of glue around the cut crease because We've spent all this time drawing it, so close your eye. This is called Lux. Tell us why. why. It's it's named after Lila Lux because Lila Lux is a wonderful. The most holographic of all Libras. She is. She's a wonderful gal who runs the Bombshell Burlesque Academy. She's also a wonderful friend. So why did you choose this particular? Close, close your eye. Chunky like silver holographic after Lila. So was like, it the mirror ball act? Yeah, it's the mirror ball act. But also like, I just think like, Lila is, um, she's my 90s, like you and I will know this, like mm. Lila understands our, our 90s references. 100%. She, um, she knows like, and it's just like a very kind of fucking 90s thing to have chunky silver holographic. Oh, art. I think the take home message is, you have to strike the balance of working out how to be precise two bottles of champagne in. How do you how do you do that? Like really? That's perfection now. So we will do the brows because the, this is just the template for the brows to give. So the brows give the uh, architecture of the eye. So now that we've got the brows roughed in in dark brown, we're actually gonna go and do the tail in black eyeliner after everything else. Great, so you now you do this other eye. Yes! Great! Do you need a top up or are you good? I'm good for the moment. So we're just going to finish off this section of the eye. 
with a touch more luxe from Glitter Go Go. So do we want to talk about how I was on RuPaul's Drag Race? Oh my god. From Glitter O Go Go. Oh my god. Biodegradable glitter. We need to talk about how you are on RuPaul's Drag Race and then say it again. So. You're on RuPaul's Drag Race. I was Just, on RuPaul's Drag Race. I mean, you guys, she was on RuPaul's Drag Race. So if it wasn't for RuPaul's Drag Race, she would never have been on RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> Glitter A Go Go will give you the confidence to be the hot slut you want to be. Oh, I'm going to use the most fanciest, <laughs> high-end shit you've ever seen in That's your what life. I want. That is what I want. She's lying, but I appreciate you lying to me. It's called L'Oreal True Match. Who is really pleasing or inspiring you at the moment? Like in terms, in terms of, of makeup? In terms of makeup and then also in terms of performing. So I would say on both fronts, sky blue. Really? Sky is it the freckles? The freckles. I'm not in frame. The freckles. <laughs> So now we're doing concealer. Oh. We as, as highlight? As highlight. Okay. And slightly as concealer, although you don't really have the need. I still. Oh, this is shape tape. And this we, is shape tape. Did I just spill concealer? It's fine. On? Oh, wow. You do have beautiful under eyes. Oh. oh. It's the filler I've been carb loading for decades. <laughs> <laughs> It's like um, when people ask me why does my skin look so young, I'm like, like, I'm I'm oily and plump. Ooh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Studio Fix NW10 and uh, the Virgin White and mix them together to like really highlight. So they go on the sides of the nose because that helps you kind of snatch the nose a bit. Snatch the nose. So I don't actually I don't contour my nose, but I highlight this sides of the nose and the center of the nose oh. and it's kind of like a like it, it acts in a way to contour but with your natural skin tone do you get what I'm saying yeah so instead of having two lines of brown you have two lines of flesh with highlight in between so we need to keep highlighting so if you're going to highlight under your eyes then you need to highlight the other parts of your face as well oh makeup revolution Revolution. Oh. Contour palette. It's terrible. Is it cream? It's cream contour. It's not very good though. Oh, okay. Well, so don't buy it. But like, I, I'm just still using it because I have it. But um. Okay. Should I? Yeah. Yeah. You should. So we're gonna do your jaw. We've just got such a um, extreme. Highlight under the eyes, we need to balance mm. the other highlighted sections. <laughs> are, we, are we in frame? We're in frame. <laughs> well, in the interval, I've put on some lashes while Margot had her fifth cigarette and third Jack Daniels. I just usually do the rest of the face with a bit of powder and a brush, and um, it's not. You know, you could go and really pound it in with a, um, feels, it feels set. Have you ever taken a full glass of champagne to the face out and then walked away from it okay? I don't know if she has. You have? I was just riffing. So now, also go over the, um, the cream contour on the jawline, down into the neck. So you want to kind of like contour from the ear down the jawline and then the chin down into the neck. So it kind of comes into a triangle. Now I actually use a pink eyeshadow as blush pink because I honestly think, and I keep talking off camera but you'll get the idea, um, blush is not pigmented enough. You need like a, you need a, a fucking huge... eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. I'm into it, go for it. Okay. So you really, you really need to add the color into I your just face. need to let you all know, Margot is, is clutching the back of my hair and my head, and I think a lot of you would pay for that. <laughs> I'll do my blush. Do oh. my blush. If we get this in your actual eyeball, it may water a little bit, and your eye 
your vision may go a little cloudy. But if you just get one of these like flat tipped tack on brushes, like anything synthetic, you can just go in and very gently color the waterline. And then just very gently, very delicately connect that wing to the lash line. Now, quickly, we're just gonna finish the eyebrows. Oh. A liquid eyeliner is a really great thing to use because you can get a really nice precision. So you just go in with the black eyeshadow, get rid of, it, rid of any white powder. Is it Lip me? liner! Yeah. Ah. Do a Jennifer Coolidge. Ah. This is my favorite part. My favorite part of makeup is the setting spray at the end. Now close your eyes. Look sexy. Oh. Actually, I just had a fucking oh. idea. I just had a fucking oh. idea. My favorite part, the setting spray. Yes. Now, look luxurious. Oh. Oh. oh, it's at the end, so it's just spurting oh. on you. And now? Mm. Oh, I'm so beautiful. Not yet, wait until I've got my wig on and my dress, then I'm going to be beautiful. Just you wait. Mwah. I am so hot right now. Can you see yourself in the monitor? Yes, I can. Yes, I surely can. Ah! <sighs> Look out, get in here. Get in the frame, you fucking bitch. Oh. 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 Can we can we do like uh, before the before it like? <laughs> you want a piece of this? You want to talk about science? You want to talk about maths? You cunt! We look great. We look great. We. This is you. We look great. Ooh, no, I look really good. Thank you. Oh, do you know what I love mostly about this? What? The cheeks. The cheeks are good. Mm. It's it's just if you if you uh, put a really like pigmented blush with your contour, but also on the apples.